back to another My of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually on the way to Lexington Comic Con slash Toy Con, which is actually a pretty decent drive away. Got my brother Brad with me. His name's not really Brad, but you get the point. Nonetheless, man, we are on the way there. We're about to leave town. We had a lot of loops and stuff to jump through before we left town. And so we're on the way there. We're about to leave. And uh, yeah, we got a pretty decent drive ahead of us. But we're going to, I guess, make like a little vlog slash toy hunt slash sort of travel deal going on, man. So hopefully it's worth the drive. Hopefully it doesn't suck ass. What are we hoping to find? Anything. I think the main point for me is just looking for Chase AEW figures. If I come home with one Chase, I guess it'll be worth it. Probably gonna hit a target or two on the way, or at least try to. They close at 10 p.m. We're leaving at like 6.45. We're doing great. So we're not gonna make it all the way there, but maybe we can hit one or two before they close right at the end there. Throw up a Hail Mary at the buzzer, and we'll see what goes on with that. But stay tuned, man. We'll see you guys on the way there, and I'll check in with you throughout the day, and uh, let's enjoy the video. Look at that sunset over there. Brighter than my future. What do you think, Brad? I can't look at it. boys we made it they close in 20 minutes so we're gonna have to work fast work fast i think the employees are already standing by the doors my legs are stiff as hell we're like halfway there are we halfway there yeah check, the yeah, check this out they got the kirby balls out front that's pretty dope i'm gonna lie to you all right guys here we go ultimate edition kane got a little bit of aew on match series two tons of santana and ortiz over here tons of santana and ortiz Tons of Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian. You got Jake Hager, another Scorpio, another Frankie, another Frankie, and Jungle Boy. So no Luchasaurus. But they do have the WrestleMania build a figure of Vince McMahon. Well, you've got Bret Hart. We got three Stone Colds and a Shawn Michaels. First time seeing this at retail. Beautiful figure. Already have two though. Not gonna, not gonna grab that. I don't think I'm gonna grab anything to be honest. Trying to save up for the con, of course. But four Hurricane, four Billy Bob, Kushida, Rhea Ripley. Always shelfing Goldberg. But one thing I don't see is I do not see China. So that's a successful story for her. Tons of AEW figures though. Not good ones. Decisions were made. Decisions were made. Kool Aid and spaghetti. <laughs> Oh my god, elbow macaroni was obviously not priority today. And the spaghetti, <laughs> they, the family size too. And then uh, we have the Survivor Series Keith Lee. Never seen this at retail either. I've only seen the Bailey, so that's cool. Lots of figures, but have you noticed that everything on these aisles is like a wreck? Like, look, there's wreckage, wreckage. More decisions. Oh. Work boot and soles. We saw the end cap too. Wasn't there an end cap? Yeah. Yeah, there was an end cap on the way in. There's a SmackDown tag title right there. Need to go look at the NECA section. Is this it right here? You got Drew McIntyre, not Jax. Dominic, Sergeant Slaughter, Jeff Hardy, Bobby Lash, another Nia. And another Naya. I think the purple Naya is the chase. They don't have that version. But they do have Drew. And then there was a Bobby somewhere. Didn't we see a Bobby on the way in? Yeah, there's like a Bobby Lashley down here. We literally got here with 20 minutes to spare. So there's Bob. I'm going to put this back in the... You know, I'm constantly cleaning. That's, a, that's one thing. we got to clean up the aisle. Ooh. You don't tell me what to do. All right, got the purchases. Get back in the car. You should drive now, honestly. So Brad got his first purchase. That's right. He got the Crimson Ghost. Not really. It's actually a Misfits. Christ it's a Christmas Crimson yeah, Ghost. It's, it's a Christmas mis Misfits figure. However... It's in Crimson, technically. It's the Crimson Ghost, which is what the Misfits mask is based off of. Yes. So there you go. It's the same thing. They just stole it. Mm. Well, 
Well, Brad, we're on the road still. It's literally 10 p.m. We're about Stay to grab some right. food and then we're going to hit the road some more, I guess, and get there as fast as we possibly can. Taco Bell's dinner choice tonight. I hate to see it. Love to see it. All right, guys, we secured the bag. Literally got the Taco Bell bag. I just I just looked at the bag. Like I typically think about my order. This time I just winged it. But there's a Walmart literally across the street. Brad's gonna eat, and I'm gonna run in that hole and see if I can find the LJN Walmart exclusive Cody. Now, how successful would that be? I'm not sure. But I'm about to run into this Walmart location and see if I can possibly find something worth a damn. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's see what we got. All right, not a lot of stuff going on here. Top picks Jeff Hardy, top picks Jeff Hardy. Good God for those, and it's not stopping, bro. Jesus Christ, one, two, three, six here. No, six here, four more here, and two more at the top, bro. Good Lord. Is that 12 Jeff Hardys? Good God, more Goldberg. Got an old elite top picks Roman Reigns, Goldberg, 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 John Cena, Roman, Goldberg again, The Rock. Still can't find Roddy Piper for the love of Christ. Elite MVP, Angel Garza, Goldberg, Roman. Lots of top picks. I mean, that pretty much sums it up. Top picks, same. Oh, I'll see an AEW figure back here. What we got? Of course, it's Nyla Rose. Poor Jeff. And then we got Matt Jackson, Nyla, Rio, Nick Jackson, another Nyla, Jeff Hardy Basic, Championship Showdowns. Don't really care for these, honestly. I haven't seen that one in a long time, though. I don't think I've ever seen that one in person, though, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't see Jack. Brad didn't come in, so we're going to go back to the car and eat and get the hell out of here because it's getting late and we still have a long time to go. <sighs> Let's go eat. Bro, we finally made it and the damn birds are chirping. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god in heaven. That took an eternity, but we're here, bro. We're freaking here. All right, guys, I am in the hotel room, and look at my eyes, bro. They're like freaking bloodshot. You can tell I'm exhausted, but it's really late. We're literally about to go to sleep right this instant because we literally have to get up in like a few hours. So uh, I guess I'll see you in the morning, and we'll uh, go to the show, see what's up. But this was an exhausting drive, but we made it. So there you go. See you in the morning. Good morning. Let's get breakfast. All right, Brad, it is the morning time. We have to drive to the arena, and something that I didn't even really realize is that the con is actually being held at Rupp Arena, where the Kentucky Wildcats play, and being a huge college basketball fan, I think that's pretty cool, but I didn't even like put that together. Going to Lexington, I was like, oh, damn. When we pulled into the city last night, I was like, this is literally where the University of Kentucky is, and then come to find out the con is actually at Kentucky, but F Kentucky, roll tide, right? That's right, roll tide. We went 0-2 versus them this year. They're, they're good at basketball. How'd they do in football? It's cold. It is windy. cold. It's very, very windy. There's snow on the ground. There is a little snow on the ground, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, on to the arena. All right, Taylor, what are we looking at? We got some wrestling stuff. Toys R Us, Andre. It's kind of wild because most of these, I remember seeing them on the pegs when they released, and now like they've like tripled in value or whatever the case is. Miss Elizabeth, you got me Young, you got some AEW. Like I remember buying this fan from the Toys R Us across the street from where I went to college. I remember sending you the photo of it. You got TNA. RVD, 
We got some classic superstars. You got HBK. I like the Ricky. Oh yeah, defining moments. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, pretty dope. Kind of in rough shape, but it's still a dope figure. Got a six-sided ring, from TNA. The Ultimate Warrior. I remember buying this from Toys R Us as well. Unfortunately, opened everything. A couple of charges. I remember the Target Hall of Fame sale. They were moving all Hall of Fame elites for ten bucks a piece, and I I cleared out every Target in the Southeast. He's got somewhere over here in that case, that black case. All right, we'll take a look in just a moment. Yeah, just regular AEW. I'm honestly missing the Bucks from Series One for whatever reason. We got some loose stuff. Lots of goods. Oh my God, bro! We got the Legends Terry wow. Funk. You don't see that every day. 40 is actually a really good deal on that. Ooh, entrance greets Jericho. We got... Got some TNA stuff, Boy Biz. Paul Orndorff, Legends 4. Ooh, dude, look at that Sting TNA back there. Kind of hard to see. Elite 20 Christian. Pretty dope, bro. Like, see, around us, we don't get anything like this. So to see any of this stuff like this is very rare. No, we don't get to see anything like this. I do love. It's gonna be hard to get everything on camera. So I'm trying to do my best. Big boss man. Pretty good stuff, man. Stuff you don't get to see every day. Oh, yeah, he's got a case here. Got Jimmy Snuka, got Rick Martel, hell yeah. Dude, I feel like that's a really good deal for Rick Martel. 90? I feel like that's a steal. I could be wrong though. Got the Wild Samoans, Rikishi, Iron Sheik. Dude, look at these NECA statues, holy shish. Or I guess they're technically figures, yeah. but damn, those are fire. That Captain Spaulding is sick as hell, and that leather face back there. Brad won't buy it. I, I want it, I want it. That's beautiful. That's how much they want for it. I want that burning Godzilla, too. There you go. Look at that. They got a Chase Matt Hardy autograph. Brandy, two-pack. Retro is pretty freaking dope, bro. Oh, yeah, they got Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy. You see the Matt Hardy chase? Yeah. It's dope, bro. Dude, check out this Jax Kane ring autographed. That's dope as hell. Dude, there's so much shit. This video is probably gonna be like an hour long, bro. There's just too much to. I want people to fully grasp. Like, see, you don't have anything like this around us, so people are probably wondering why we drove so far. This is why, because we don't ever get cool shit like this around no, us. Not at all. Bro, we took our eagle, man. Yeah, dude, that's sick as hell. Put him in the pig bed. <laughs> dude, that's dope. You won't buy that cane autograph ring. I won't, but it's sick as hell. It feels like 50. Yeah. We got some classic stuff. Holy shit, we had this Roddy Piper. Do you remember this Roddy Piper? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we had this one. We had the Dennis Rodman as well. Yeah. The Power Slam. Very dope. Look at that title. Uh, classic. Zombie Finn. Ahmed Johnson. Dude, that's actually a pretty nice card right there. I like this tag. Like the head scope on that tag. Yeah, a lot of people use that for customs and stuff like that. Ooh, got angle, Ooh. angle in the red. Come on, Brad, come on. People use this jacket from this Roddy Piper on customs to this day. Absolutely. We've got a draft book of tea. Kurt Angle in the singlet. RBD. All right, guys, use code MBTOYS to save yourself 10%. Go get the casket playset, <laughs> ringside collectibles. Oh, that's pretty dope. They actually have a Chase Brit over there that I want to show off. They got some pretty cool shit here. Oh, they got the Blood and Guts 2-pack for 50. Got the Chase Hardy. DOD Kane. Got Elite 40 Cena. Oh, snap. That's Brandy. And it's not 1B. That's the actual 1A right there. So that's dope. Let's see. Thank you. Got the rock bottom pack. 
Is that actually autographed by Bret Hart? Looks like it. Toy biz. Toy biz. No, you're fine. What even is that? Puzzle? Got a Hogan Macho Man puzzle. So much stuff. No, bro, you gotta look. You gotta look. What? Oh you my god. Kid, what? Dude, no freaking way. Look at that. I remember that like it was yesterday. Oh my god, dude, some WCW. Is that cards? Yeah, photograph. Photo cards. Oh, photo cards. So, tons of loose figures right here. See a hot rod basic, got Andre basic. Uh, just like Andre, not fitting in the bag. Ooh, got a Sting DM Elite. Ooh, got a Warrior. Joker, 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 Joker. Oh, yeah, J uh, Joker, Kofi. Like Ace and the Undertaker? I'm gonna have to sort through this. It's so hard to get everything on video. Yes. And, like, do it one-handed. Holy hell, they have ECW Dreamer. Got a few on card there. I wanna show off the Chase Brit. Fair warning, it's overpriced, but that's okay. Some sick ass Jack Specific. Had all these as a kid. Love this line. The Chase Brit. One of 3,250. A bit steep, to be honest, but that's actually like double for what it goes for. It is in the Defender and it is in person, so that's something you gotta take into account, but. Got some retro card stuff. Damn. It looked very minty, too. Chase Rio. Got Razor. Loose Brock Ultimate. Does that go for 110? What? We got some Lucy's over here. Chase Rio. Ooh, Chase Rio for 100? Might have to swing it. I got two of them. Got some Lucy's over yeah, here. Jack's My God. Lee 57, dude. That Lee 57 loose Hardy for 22? I feel like that's a steal. 84 variant Hardy. How do you know it's the variant? Oh, I was gonna say, I knew you didn't know that right off the top of the dome. I knew you didn't know. But it was good to see you again. I'm putting you on the channel. Awesome. Watch my damn toys, everybody. There you go. Appreciate it, man. Dude, they got some pretty cool stuff in this booth. This, this is a, a, a this. They, they've got a booth here. They've got a booth at another convention up in, in Ohio, and they also have a toy store in, in Fairfield, Ohio, called the Toy Department. Oh wait, I've seen this place. This is the place that I saw. They had a one in five hundred Darby, I think, not so long ago, for like four hundred or something like that. Where this is. Where are you from? Alabama. Oh, Alabama. Yeah, so it was, it was quite the drive. Yeah, but. I'm from Tennessee, so it's, I'm about a four hour drive. As soon as I leave here, I'm actually going to go up to Cincinnati and check your store out. Let me know. Comment and let me know if you find anything. Hello, man. You about to eat right now? No, I got to go back over to Star Wars booth and get a couple things off of him. Okay. He's my guy. I got you. He got me in for you. Oh, hell yeah. That's nice. All right, man. I'll hey, see man, you around, man. Pleasure good, meeting good you. Good to meet you, man. It's wild. This is the store's yeah. setup that I was telling you about. Remember, I said, yeah. there's like a store two hours from here. I wonder if uh, if they brought that Darby. I bet they didn't, but it may be sold already. No more looses. I mean, dude, there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff going on here. I'm not even gonna lie. I have that exact custom, and that may that might be mine. Well, they got the ringside exclusive Jericho Punk Basic. That's actually not bad. Thirty five right there. I have. I mean, I'd have to look these prices up, but I feel like these are pretty. Pretty decent. Oh my god, they have an Elite 16 Punk for 55? Got MJF, Randy Orton, Nyla Rose, Kenny, Elite 8 Zack Ryder, or maybe Elite 9. Damn, lots of cool stuff. Oh my god, they yeah, had the funny moments, Macho, for 35. I gotta know what this is. All right. That's the dark night between. All right. Pretty overwhelming, honestly. Lots of cool shit. Dude, there's so much cool shit. It's so overwhelming. Like, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just, just stuff on stuff. Like, you think you have cool shit, and then you come in here, and you're like, yeah, you don't have nothing, Brad. You don't have nothing. I remember buying this multiple times, this Series 4. 
Punisher. Bought that in the store a few times when I was a kid. What do you see, Brad? Got all, got all these Godzillas. I have that one. I need this one. Bro, it's like just, I, t I said, you think you have cool shit until you come. <laughs> then you know, like, no. That's exactly what I said. I said those exact words. Again, we don't ever. We're not around. Like around town where I'm from, they don't have nothing like, like this. this. You want to do something fun on the weekend? You go get drunk, you go watch a football game, or you go bowl. That's it. <laughs> Straight edge, kids. You watch the football, that's it. <laughs> don't even bowl, you just watch the football. <laughs> which was a steal, by the way, so. I always like this figure, but I don't, I don't like this. There it is. Which one? That's oh, the Ghost Rider? Yeah, that's it. Dude, that Ghost Rider, we had that when we were kids. Loved that figure. I want to say we had this Magneto. That's the same comic, too. Oh, my God, they have Thomas Jane Punisher, bro. There you go. I have a guy working on a 3D printed head. I'm gonna make my own custom one. Good luck. Make it, make it look. I like this thing. Yeah, it's sick too. Tons of good stuff in here. Me and my brother were always wondering why Broly came with a gun right here. What does that say? With, it, with accessories. They're like, he comes with stuff. Dragon Ball, the Dragon Balls weren't involved in him at all either. Yeah, I don't know. They have some retro Spider-Man over there that I'm probably going to grab, but I don't know what to grab just yet. I'm trying to mull it over. Pretty good. This dude has really good prices, though. Takes care of his mint figures. Love to see it. He tries to keep them minty fresh, you can tell. Nice little joker. <laughs> no limit to what you're doing. Yeah, I wish. It looks beautiful, though. It looks fantastic. Mm. Maybe one day. 
guys, we just came to A Plus Comics and Collectibles. Hopefully, it's worth a damn. That Spider Man post over there is sick as hell, by the way. Love that pose. That's what I like. That's my favorite pose to do with Spider Man figures when I get them. But this store looks pretty cool. Hopefully, they got some good stuff inside. I'll try to get, you know, try my best to get some clips. But we did leave the con. We were just exhausted, man, walking, doing laps and everything like that. We could not get, you know, everything, you know, in total. But we took probably 20 laps around that thing. Like, we were, we were all over the place. But I'll see you guys inside. Got some stuff behind the glass case. Oh, okay. Nice little battle pack right there. Pretty good condition. No, oh, but this store's pretty damn nice. I did not expect what we got in here. There's actually a lot of stuff going on in here. Got some legends. Got a lot of horror stuff. Got pops, transformers. I mean, there's Jobby's boy. The Masters of the WWE Universe. I didn't expect all this. Did you expect all this? Mm. It's like a lot, bro. Some old build of figures. Pretty, pretty, pretty damn cool, man. I like how they. I need that Harley. <laughs> I always wanted that Harley. We were at Baumhauer's. 50, 50 bucks, that's not bad. It was 25 when I had the pre order. Wow. But we were at Baumhauer's and I canceled it. Mm. Pain and suffering. Because I didn't have 25 at that time. How many do they have? I don't have enough. They have a lot of stuff. I'm not a Star Wars guy, but I feel like they got Lucy's. I'm sure they got loose WWE somewhere. I'm gonna have to find them, but got some legends. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Captain Spaulding, Otis, Baby. Oh, snap. I got that whole Buster Holt 2 pack down there. Even better. We had that. Really? Yes, we had that Power Rangers. Is that really 170, Mom? That's crazy. I didn't even see uh, some of these over here. Dude, look what I just found. How beautiful. General George himself. Look at the goat. I feel like MDT needs this in his collection. What do we think, Brad? guys what is up it's actually the following day this is actually sunday morning when i'm recording this segment me and my brother were exhausted man after like the the long drive and everything like that he said he didn't want to go like he didn't want to drive all day on sunday and then have to go to work on monday which i totally understood so we decided to come back early we we thought about playing around and staying the night and then going to some other stores but the way that the stores kind of looked around the area and toy headquarters slash toy vomit not being a thing anymore i reached out to them on instagram they didn't respond so that was pretty disappointing Morning, I was trying to see if they would let me come shop anyways because I was looking to, you know, spend some extra money, but that didn't work out. Maybe that'll work out next time, but that was unfortunate. That was probably the worst part of the trip, I would say. Those don't really bother me about long drives. You know, I don't mind really making a long drive, especially, you know, to, to toy hunt and, you know, meet up and all those different things. So I am going to show you guys what I picked up. Actually, didn't pick up a ton of stuff. Going into it, I thought I was going to drop a rack, and I ended up not even really buying that much, which I guess is good and bad at the same time because I did want to, like knock some things out of the collection like knock some holes out and then fill in some things that I was missing but at the same time it's good because I didn't break the bank I really am happy and satisfied with the money that I spent and I didn't spend a whole ton so that was really nice as well didn't end up meeting Adam Cole Britt Baker or Hangman my biggest thing there was I didn't have anything for them to sign like I don't have a mock elite Adam Cole the only one that I really want signed is the Undisputed Era 3 pack maybe one of the like if I had an AEW figure from him probably and then maybe the Elite 92 Chase or the regular 
regular version would be really cool to get autographed, but I didn't have any of those on hand. I didn't, a guy was selling a basic Adam Cole for 40 bucks, which is something we'll get into, which is probably another reason why I didn't spend a lot. I saw a ton of things I loved, but at the same time, everybody had like ridiculous prices. So like, I, I wouldn't say everybody. That, that's got a bit of a stretch. A lot of people, the people that I bought from had hella deals. Shout out to all those vendors that I bought things from. They had really, really good prices and deals that I felt respectable to, to purchase something. Somebody there had an Elite 91 Hogan for $50 like that. Like, no way. I think we plugged in a clip where there was a Hogan for $35. That's realistic. Like, I understand that. You know, you make your money and it matches sort of the demand of the figure. But $50 is just straight price gouging, bro. Like, And then there was Chase Britt Baker for $250. Way too much. I know it goes for like half that on eBay and other places like that, which I guess is in person. So, you know, you, you might be able to grab it right there and it'd be okay. But I was about to fall into that trap. You know, I, I was pretty good on that. I did pass on some things, which I'll get into, but I had a very fun time. I met a couple fans. Shout out to Matt and Tyler. Met those guys. Really awesome to meet a couple fans out there. Thank you guys so very much for coming up and introducing yourselves. That was really awesome. So that was hella fun. I really appreciate it. Always makes my day and that made the trip for me. If I didn't buy a single thing, that alone made the trip for me. So that was really cool. I'm sure this video is very long, so I do apologize for that, but it was really fun. I wanted to get the most out of this experience and showing off everything. So met some really cool people. It was a very fun experience. I would do it again. I thought it was awesome, but let's get into what I picked up and then I'll go a little bit more into detail. So the first figure that I did grab was a loose figure from Toy Department, which is a store that I really desperately wanted to go to, but they would have been closed by the time we went there after we left the con, of course. We did grab the Elite Series 16 CM Punk. I feel like if you find Elite 16 CM Punk for $55 in person with the shirt, I feel like you gotta purchase it. It has really good paint apps. It has the shirt, which is in good condition. Everything is really crisp. The joints feel really good. This is my second one, but when you see this figure at, at that good of a price, bro, I feel like you must bite on it. So they had a ton of great elites there, tons of great Marvel Legends. They had a lot of SH figure arts. They had the AEW Championship. They had the two Chase Rios that I was this close to purchasing, but upon and further investigation, they had a bit too much damage for my for my price point. There were a hundred bucks. I thought about buying one and keeping it loose. Wasn't gonna, you know, I, I decided against it. I, I really didn't like the condition of those figures. One of them, the AEW logo was bent, and then the other one, the top of the card was pretty, pretty damaged. Like, I like my mint stuff to be pretty damn mint, so it was a bit damaged there, so that was unfortunate. But they did have two Chase Rios, and they said they have a lot at their store, which is where we almost went, but again, the closings and not my brother not wanting to stay and drive back on Sunday, so that was kind of the issue there, but let's get into what else we got. So you guys know that we are on the constant grind of completing the retro card Spider-Man Marvel Legends collection. We want the loose set and the mock set, and we ended up getting two grails out of there, or two that I've been looking for. We have the Peter Parker, which I have a lot of plans for this guy. We're going to do some customization on him, so you're probably like, are you going to keep this man on card? I'm actually not, because first of all, there's a huge bend in it, and also it's separating right here. There's a separation right there, so so I'm definitely not going to keep it in on card. I thought it was a fantastic deal for this. The guy was super nice. I think he has a toy store, a comic store in Chicago. I think it was like all that or something like that. Very nice gentleman. Had a great time talking with him and everything. He had a great selection. So that was really cool that I appreciated. And then we also took home the Green Goblin, bro, which if anybody collects these, you know the Green Goblin is going for a pretty significant price now. And I love this thing. I think it looks beautiful. It also, this card is not nearly as damaged as the Peter Parker, but it's still not in like minty mint condition like I would like. I honestly wish that I could find, if anybody out there knows where I can get like some protectors for the retro cards, I'd really appreciate it. That'd be cool. But I am going to open this one as well. Got a really good deal on this one and this one. We'll, we'll hunt them down mock one day. But again, a lot of the prices were crazy. I did see a lot more of the retro card collection at the con. They were asking way too much, bro. They just were. Like I, would, I was comparing prices online and it was like 20 to 30, 40 bucks over what they're offering. And I was like, hell no, bro. Like I just can't, I can't bring myself to do so. I understand you're trying to make money and I feel like at the con, a lot of the times they're trying to cash in on like maybe a casual walking by doesn't know a lot about it and they're like oh 85 dollars sure and just bang right there buying it because oh I, I love that so i i can get that but wasn't trying to fall into that trap i really uh love this so was very excited for these two purchases and uh i plan on turning this peter parker into a animated series spider-man so i'm working on a formula and a head sculpt nothing against the you know sort of a comic version but we want that we want the animated series man we want the handsome peter i want high-waisted jeans tucked in polo shirt 
Peter, Peter Parker from the animated series. Come on, Hasbro. Outside of those Marvel Legends, this is the Holy Grail right here. And I had to grab this, and I'm on the fence. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below what I should do, but we grabbed it, bro. We grabbed the G.I. Joe Classic Collection General George Washington figure. This packaging is sick. It's a special limited edition collection, second in the commemorative Independence Day holiday series. Now, I don't know anything about this collection, the clothes on this thing, and I just thought that it would go perfect in the George Washington collection. So, you guys know that we do have the custom Mattel Elite George Washington. Should I keep it mint on card or open him up, man? I really do want to open him up and kind of have all of my Georges together there, but I don't know. Pretty, pretty badass. I was excited for this purchase. And yeah, you guys can let me know if I should keep it mint on card or should I open it up. Now, outside of that, I, I didn't grab anything else. My brother br bought like a little mini bus statue of the Misfits. He bought that Misfits figure at Target, as you guys saw. And outside of that, man, we didn't grab much else. Again, we drove a long way and we didn't grab a whole lot. I was on the fence on a ton of stuff, but I just couldn't pull the trigger, man. There, like these certain things right here, I felt it. You know, you feel at peace with, and I, I wasn't gonna regret any purchases. I was satisfied with these. Should I have maybe spent a little bit more for that drive? Maybe, but at the same time, it was a very fun experience. Memories that will last a lifetime. I had a lot of fun with my brother and stuff like that. So that was really awesome. Anyways, man, that is gonna wrap up our Toy Con Lexington trip deal. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this is a long video. Like I, I expect this to almost be an hour long, maybe something like that. Hope you guys, you know, buck up and enjoy the whole thing. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. What would you have grabbed? What did I pass on? Some of those boots, man. I think they were wanted $750 for the Chase Matt Hardy, by the way. That autograph. Matt Hardy Chase, one of 500 $750. That's just a little bit too much for me, man. You know, like some of the, some of these things, much like my boy Kyle Peterson says, man, sometimes you just gotta play long game and just wait things out. Find deals. Strike gold when you see some. And we didn't really come across a lot of gold. I felt like we bit on the things that I was excited about. So, that is gonna wrap up this vlog Toy Con deal thing. Thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me know what you would have grabbed down below subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video and don't cross the line like the, like the guy that listed the damn hogan for 50 bucks be better <laughs>